What do you make of the Jalen Carter Pro Day situation at Georgia? For those of you that are unaware of what's going on, Jalen Carter, one of the top prospects in this year's NFL draft, had his Pro Day at Georgia, only the positional work, couldn't finish drills, showed up nine pounds heavy from what he weighed in at the Combine two weeks previously. So there's a little bit of pause that I think a lot of different people are having around this Jalen Carter situation. Like There's a lot of concern for what he could be as an NFL prospect based on what he did at his pro day. How does this look? How does this look from the outside? A lot of people are saying, man, he just must not care about football. Must not care about football for the biggest interviews of his life, for him not to be ready to go. I don't know if he takes this seriously. Is this something he really wants to do? That's great. You were at Georgia and did a lot of good things on the field. That's cool. We understand that. We understand you're talented. But do you want to be a professional? Because showing up and not performing with 32 NFL teams there and being overweight, or at least I should say this, being heavier by almost 10 pounds than what you were at the combine, it doesn't give me a lot of encouragement that you were 10 pounds up from what you were two weeks ago. What are we doing in that two-week span knowing that this is coming up? That's how it looks. Now, keep in mind, how it appears very frequently is not actually how it is, okay? So we got to make sure we unpack that a little bit more. Got some thoughts on this. As always, having it subscribed, would love to have you here. Follow me on Twitter and on Instagram at JD Piquel. This is an exclusively college football show. Jalen Carter, I'm still claiming him as one of ours, y'all. Until an NFL team calls his name, he's still one of ours. So that's how it looks. Oh, man, Jalen Carter's not taking this seriously. He must not love ball. That's how it looks. Here's how I think it is. Jalen Carter is 21 years old, and I would imagine still mourning the loss of two of his friends, Georgia Stafford, Chandler LaCroix, and offensive lineman Devin Woolock. Obviously, Jalen Carter was involved in that tragic accident, allegedly, That's got to weigh on a person, man. Just mentally and emotionally and to be so young and to have so much grief. This is, I would imagine, one of the most difficult experiences Jalen Carter's had to go through in his young life. That's a lot on a kid. I don't know how you would be properly grieving and at the same time be in the best position to perform athletically. That's a lot, man. This is not a situation that is conducive to having peak physical performance. There's a lot on his shoulders right now. And so what I would like for him, what I would have liked for him is for his agent or for whoever's in his camp to say, hey, Jalen, man, you got a lot on your plate. Your tape speaks for itself. Let's, let, let's punt on the pro day. At worst, let's not do it. At best, let's push it back. That's what I would have liked for him. Because instead, he walked into the lion's den, tried to push through. And now we have a storyline about Jalen Carter and what he is or isn't in this NFL draft. And his stock potentially descending. You got to protect him in that situation. That's the first thing I would have liked for him. What we also need to talk about is this narrative around what I was just saying a second ago. Well, he must not want to be a pro. He must, he must not really care about the game. Here's what I would say to that. You don't have the career that Jalen Carter had at Georgia by not taking football seriously. If you don't take football seriously in Athens, Georgia, you wash out quick, fast, and in a hurry. You want to know why? Because they don't need you. As generational as Jalen Carter is, if he wasn't doing things Kirby Smart's way, guess how much time he'd be on the field? Not a lot. None, actually. So this whole notion that he somehow doesn't have it under the hood or he doesn't really want to, you know, get after it and play at the the highest level. He doesn't he doesn't have that drive, that dog in him. I don't want to hear any of that. I mean, you you can take that back where it came from. We're not interested in that kind of talk about Jalen Carter because that is just you just haven't been paying attention. Turn on the tape. Dude was unblockable in the SEC. Kirby Smart said it yesterday after the pro day. He's like, didn't have to come back and play. He was hurt. He could have missed the rest of the year. He's got a lot of money he could make. He didn't have to come back and play. Instead, he begged us to get back on the field. He worked hard to get back on the field. He's respected by his teammates. Those are things that you can't fake. You can talk all you want. You can test all you want. But when you turn on the tape and when you play through injury, 
and you do it in an elite organization like Georgia is, under elite leadership like Kirby Smart, that checks all the boxes I need to know. We need to stop treating this like it's just normal circumstances. It's not normal circumstances. This kid has got the weight of the world on his shoulders. Again, one, one of the hardest things I would imagine he's had to go through in his young life. So if it were normal circumstances, to be nine pounds heavier at your pro day and to not finish position drills, that's okay. We, we can then have a little bit more objection to that. But let's use context here, and let's not forget that he just absolutely dominated in the SEC. Okay? So that's my thoughts on Jalen Carter. Wish him well. Excited for whatever professional team does get him, because I think once he's able to get back right, both mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, he's going to be a problem for a long time in the NFL. It's my two cents on it. We appreciate y'all rocking with us. Make sure you subscribe, follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at JD Pakel. Nick Brake, lifting heavy, y'all. This is your show. College football every single day. I'm still claiming Jalen Carter is one of college football's own until someone calls his name on draft night. We're going to keep the party rolling, and we will see y'all next time. Hey, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of The Hard Count. Also, be sure to check out other videos on the On3 YouTube channel.